Hi rock stars. In this video, we are going to make a gift for you to give to mom for Mother's Day because Mother's Day is coming up pretty soon. It will be on Sunday. And so I wanted to show you step by step how to do this drawing. And this is one of those directed drawings just like we did with the Easter Bunny and the Leprechaun and the Snowman. Um, and I know we had a lot of fun doing these, so I thought that this would be a nice project for you to do for Mom for Mother's Day. Now I sent, I brought over a bag that has all of the materials that you need for this project. And inside this bag, you will find... your picture frame. Be careful with this so that the glass doesn't break. You are going to want to set this aside while you're doing your drawing. You will have a gift bag and some tissue paper. Now your gift bag may not look exactly like this and your tissue paper may not be yellow, but this is what you can use to wrap mom's presents. So that you can set aside too. There is also a piece of construction paper. Now your construction paper may not be green, but this is for you to use to make a card for your mom for Mother's Day. So that you can set aside as well. I have the step-by-step -step drawing um, and step-by-step -step directions so that if this is something you want to do again, you have all of the directions here, but since you're watching the video with me, you can set those aside also. So what you really need to get started is the paper. Now it's really thick cardboard. It's special paper so that when you're painting with your watercolors, the, it doesn't go through and it doesn't curl like some other paper might do. You will need a pencil. You will need your paints that are also in the bag that I gave to you. The paints, you'll need to take the plastic covering off to open the paints up and there's a paintbrush inside. So you'll have that too. You will need a glass of water um, just to help clean the brush. And I have a paper towel handy because I just want to use that to wipe off any excess water on my brush. Okay, so to start, you really just need these two things. So I am going to ask that you get all of the materials that you need to do this activity with me. And when you have those materials, you can come back and continue watching the video. In a lot of my videos, I explain to pause it, you just need to press the two little lines that go up and down next to one another, and that will pause the video. Then to play the video back, you just need to press the play button or the triangle button. So go ahead and do that. Press the pause. When you have your materials, come back and press play. Okay. The first thing that you want to do with this paper is you want to make sure that you're holding your paper and drawing this way, not this way, because if you do it this way, it won't fit in the picture frame as well. Okay, so you want to make sure that your paper is this way. I'm going to bring the camera on down so that you can see what I am doing. Okay, we're going to go step by step. Now, I am going to, I have this paper in front of me. I want you to watch what I'm doing first before you do it. Down at the bottom, this is the bottom of my paper. I am going to draw a diagonal line. Like that. Now, I do recommend that you use a very light grip on that pencil and you write very lightly with your pencil. I did mine a little dark just so that you can see it, but if you make a mistake and you want to erase it, if it's super, super dark, it will still, you'll still be able to see it. You won't be able to erase it completely. 
So go ahead and try to do that first step. Remembering that if you ever need to pause the video, you can. And just press the play button when you're ready. Okay, the second step is to make a second diagonal. I want my diagonal lines to be about the same height. So I'm going to make sure that I'm sort of paying attention to that. And I'm making my second line, second diagonal line. You can go ahead and make your second diagonal line. Then I want to connect the two lines, but I want to make sure that I have a little bit, I go a little bit past. I have a little bit more at the edge. So again, just watch what I'm doing. Notice that I went off of the edge a little bit. Go ahead and take do that. Then here on my edges, I'm going to make two little lines that go up. Not too big. Just like that. Now I'm going to connect my two lines that I just made with a nice straight line. And there I have my flower pot. My next step is to draw the stem of my middle flower. So to do that, I am going to make two straight lines going right next to each other in the middle of my flower pot. I don't want them too far apart because stems aren't very, very wide. But I have the middle stem to my flower. Next, I'm going to make two Diagonal lines on one side of the flower pot. That's going to be a second flower. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here for the stems of my third flower. Now to start making the flower itself, I'm going to make a squiggly circle line up above my stem. Notice that I left some space. And then I'm going to go around that with another squiggly line, a squiggly circle. And then I'm going to go around that with a squiggly circle. Now, depending on how big you want your flowers, you just, you can keep making those squiggly circles around each other. If you want a really big, full flower, you're going to make more squiggly lines. So let me show you. I can keep going around to make this flower a little bit bigger. My stems didn't quite line up, so I'm just going to fix that. 
And now I'm going to do the same thing that I did here, but on both sides here. So watch how I do that. To finish my last flower here. And there I have my three flowers. Now, one thing I forgot to ask you to get at this point in the video, you will need to get a black crayon. So if you could please pause the video by pressing that pause button and get a black crayon and then come on back and I'll show you what we're going to do with that black crayon. Okay, Rockstar, so I have my black crayon as well. What you're going to do here is you're going to trace over all of the pencil lines, even on the flower, and that's just going to make the flowers stand out before we paint them. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I will do one flower first, and then I will pause the video so that I can finish and have you do the same. But just watch what I'm doing. I'm just very carefully, very slowly, Tracing over my flower. With my black crayon. I even need to trace over my stem. And I want to trace over the whole flower pot. Okay, so I am going to pause this video so that I can trace over my picture. I would like you to, to do the same. And when you are finished, you can come on back and press play. Okay, so Rockstars, as you can see, I went over all of my pencil with my black crayon, and now I am ready to paint. So this is where you will need your water. I have this paper towel here just because I want to use it in case I need to wipe off any extra water or paint, and I have my paints. Now I'm going to start by painting my flower pot. And I think that I want to color my flower pot. I think I want my flower pot to be purple. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush into the water. I don't, okay. Dip it in the clean water, and then I'm going to, let me just move this over so I can show you. And then to get to this to start working, just like we've, we did in class, we've used watercolors in class, and I'm sure you've watercolors with Mrs. Pekka. 
You're going to put some of that water right here in the paint. And then you are going to paint your flower pot. You don't have to paint your flower pot, but your flower pot purple. You can paint it any color you would like. And you need a little bit more paint. Just go back and get a little bit more paint. Now I'm starting to notice that one of the bristles, one of those little hairs on my brush is falling off. So I'm going to use my paper to just get that off. Keep my brush back in the water, pick up a little bit more paint, and just keep painting. Notice that I'm being very gentle. I'm going nice and slowly so that I stay in the lines. Just like when we color. Now I'm noticing that my paint is starting to get a little dry, so I'm just going to add a little bit more water. Okay, so do you see how I'm just painting my flower pot? Again, I'm noticing that I need it a little bit. Be careful. I dropped a little bit of water on my, hit my picture. That's okay. Now if I want to go over it again, I can go over it again. I'm going to bring my brush, my brush strokes. That's just the direction that I'm moving. I'm going to bring those all going down in the same direction. Sort of neaten it up a little bit. I think that looks pretty cool. I think the top of my flower pot, I need just a little bit more color in there. They're all kind of looking the same. I guess that would look really cool if the flower pot had different colors to it. That would be a good idea too. Okay. And then I'm going to just paint the rest of my picture as well. Anytime that you change colors, you want to make sure that you put your brush inside of the water and you want to make sure that you have all of that paint out, otherwise you'll mix colors. Um, if you need to change your water because your water is getting too dark, make sure you do that. My water looks pretty good so far. It's still just not super clean, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to color or I'm going to paint my stems green. And I'm not sure what color I want to paint my flowers yet. I'm just going to have to decide and see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video so I can go and color. Or excuse me, I keep saying color. So I'm going to go back and paint each of my flowers and my stem. And when I'm finished, I'll come back and press play. So why don't you do the same so that you can finish painting your picture as well. Okay, so there you go, Dexters. There is my final painting. Okay. Now this paper dries 
pretty quickly, but you definitely want to make sure that it dries completely before you put it in the picture frame. We do have one last thing that you need to do. In one of these spaces here, I want you to very neatly write your name. So I'm going to write mine because I won't be able to fit mine going this way. So I'm going to write mine on a diagonal. Watch how I do that. Okay, so I wrote my name here on a diagonal. And then under it, I'm going to write the year. Remember when we work on the calendar in class, we know that we are in 2020 to 020. Okay. And then the last thing that you need to do is to put this inside of the picture frame. I'm going to bring this back up. Now, when you put this in the picture frame, again, you want to make sure that it is completely dry. I also recommend that you ask maybe dad or an older brother or sister to help you with this because the picture frames can be tricky. And the front of the picture frame is glass and I don't want you to break it and I don't want you to get hurt. After your painting is inside of your picture frame, you can wrap it up with the tissue paper and put it inside of the gift bag. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to leave my, paper, my painting over here to dry. And let's just pretend that it is inside of this picture frame. You're going to open up your gift bag. going to take your tissue paper. You have two pieces. And you can put your picture inside and just sort of wrap up your picture. It up like a present and then tuck it right inside of your, your bag. Again, dad or another brother or sister can help you with that. Okay, and then using your construction paper, you can fold your paper in half and you can make mom a card. And when your card is finished, put it inside of your gift bag and then you'll have a beautiful present to give to mom on Mother's Day. Okay, the paints are yours to keep. So if you want to keep using them to paint new pictures, you can do that. You will have the directions. So if you want to make other flower pots, you can do that. If you want to get creative with how you make your flowers, you can do that. That would be amazing. And I would love to see them. Thanks so much for watching this Rockstars. I love and miss you bunches. And I hope mom has a fabulous Mother's Day. Bye.